Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys some new moon and Sagittarius energy. And so I wanted to do a pick a card for this one so that way you guys could have a more personalized message for the energies that are going to be coming in for you for the new moon in Sagittarius, which is on Tuesday, November 26th. So that would be tomorrow. So uh, what this little information that I'm seeing on the internet, there's all kinds of things that are happening. It says it brings chaotic change and rebellion. And because of this Mars opposite Uranus energy, it's very disruptive influences, all this other stuff. I try not to get influenced by those things that I read kind of like an, oh shit, you know, everybody watch out. Mercury's in retrograde. I really try not to get all caught up in that. And so we're just going to see what this new moon is bringing in for you. Let's not get caught up in, you know, the devastation or this Mars and all this other stuff. So make your choice. I'll put the hearts in the description box below. We have Divine Connection. We've got Moonstone. We have Archangel Shamuel. So all three of these are created by Wingham Bell. I'll put the timestamps as well as them below. And I'm only going to be using two different decks here today. It's going to be super simple. The Magic of You Oracle and the Tarot de la Nuit Tarot. So anyways, that's what we're using, you guys. So let's get into this. Okay, so if you chose a number one or this Divine Connection Organite Heart, let's get your message. We're just going to go ahead and pick three cards from each deck. It's going to be really simple and just see what's going on. What kind of energies are going to be coming in for you this new moon in Sagittarius? So how are we going to be affected? What's going on? So we're going to take this and put this like this and take this deck and put it over here. What is your new moon and Sagittarius energy? If you pick number one, what's the new moon bringing in for you? All right, we get effervescence, cultivate love. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we get. How are we cultivating love? Ooh, we have the two of wands. Okay, so I love this. So you can, as you can see, this woman, she's got this skull in her hands and she's kind of examining it. She's thinking about it. She is trying to figure out how to cultivate more love into her life. And so I'm getting here that you will have some sort of an opportunity to figure out how to either be more loving or how to attract love into your life. So there's definitely some sort of an energy where you're making plans to either raise your vibration, do something, make a shift somewhere in order to bring bring forth the love that it is that you're looking for. So you're going to get some sort of an idea, some sort of inspiration or epiphany. This new moon is bringing you in Sagittarius. So it's a very lucky time is what I'm getting here as far as love for you is concerned. Beautiful. Let's take a look and see what else. We have the Buho. I'm probably not saying these words correctly, but it says transform the way that you see. Interesting. So something is going to happen in order to transform the way that you see. And we have the hermit's energy. The hermit represents the sign of Virgo. So that could be significant for some of you. But this kind of an energy here is about going within yourself, doing a deep introspective, you know, spiritual journey within the self, spending some time alone, really going deep within yourself. And so literally what it's doing is it's transforming the way that you see. Now this could be happening to you as in this new moon is bringing in this energy. So it's giving you some time to go on your own spiritual journey and see things from a whole new perspective, or this has already happened to you. And so because of these new eyes that you have, you're able to move forward now and cultivate what you've learned to bring love or bring something forth into your life. But whatever it is, it's very magical. It's very, um, wisdom based. You've learned this and now you can apply this wisdom. It's fantastic. Last message. We have doable. The key is within your grasp. And so spirit is telling you here that you are literally being handed a key in this new moon in order to get something that you desire. And it's the eight of pentacles because why? Because you've worked hard. That's why this is hard work paying off in the new moon in Sagittarius. That is what I'm seeing here. So something that you've worked on some sort of, um, Let's just say you guys have been working on some sort of a goal, whatever it is. I mean, the key is here. This is doable. This is definitely something that can come to fruition during this new moon. So all you got to do with that two of wands is make a decision. You make a decision during this period of time to bring something new into your life. Why? Because you've worked hard in order to obtain this goal. Fantastic. So I hope that that resonated with you guys. It was short and sweet. Let's go into number two. 
All right, you guys, so if you chose number two, this Moonstone Organite, let's see what the new moon in Sagittarius is bringing into your life. Let's get some topics and see what's going on. We're going to grab three cards. What is the new moon in Sagittarius? What is it bringing for those of you that chose number two? We have paradisical. I'm probably not saying that right, but it says you belong to paradise. That song from Sade just came up, Paradise. It's one of my favorite songs that she sings. But anyways, that just came up for some reason. Oh my gosh, we have the energy of the star. How freaking magical is this? This, this just means that the stars are aligning. Uh, the universe, the spiritual guidance that you're going to be receiving during this new moon is literally bringing you into a very much uh, like a paradise energy. So the paradise and the star and the stars lining up, ultimate healing, ultimate just feeling good, feeling aligned. I mean, some sort of a wish is coming through that's going to bring some sort of maybe energy. So I definitely get a wish fulfillment or ultimate healing that makes you feel like you're living in freaking paradise. It is an absolute wonderful energy. So you're being blessed during this new moon. It's bringing something through. And if you're Sagittarius, what I'm getting is it's definitely bringing through uh, a specific wish because it's during Sagittarius season, but it's also the star and the star is about Aquarian energy. So you could be connected to or dealing with an Aquarius or Aquarian energy of some sort. That are, there's a special message there too. Wow. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get another message. We have the energy of per, uh, perfect acceptance. That's beautiful. So maybe you guys have been working on accepting something and because you have fully come to a total state of acceptance and you have experienced this complete healing, now all of a sudden you're experiencing paradise. Oh my God, the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is a fiery energy, Sagittarius, Leo, or... Um, or uh, Aries. So you could be dealing with one or you could be one. I did get this sense here that this is definitely representing the Sagittarius fire se season. Um, so that could be you or someone else, but it's definitely an energy of confidence. It's an energy of looking really attractive, getting everything that you desire, everything that you want because you're in a a perfect state of acceptance because you have surrendered to what is you have surrendered to the flow you've surrendered to something and that is like the most attractive energy sorry i have my cat he's trying to do something um th this very attractive energy to the universe the universe it's like you're in alignment with the universe so the universe is in alignment with you. You're now co-creating with the universe. You're not going against anything. You're just seriously going with the flow. And so because of that, all these blessings are being bestowed upon you at this time. I got to get rid of my cat. He's doing something weird. What are you doing? All right, hold on for a second, guys. I apologize. All right, let's get back into it. What is our last message? Mosaic, let chance play its creative role in your life so that you might be um, moving forward and there's some sort of a risk or a chance. Let it just kind of unfold. So that's an interesting message. Let's see what we get with this. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is about playing it safe. The four pentacles is about um, just kind of staying put and not really taking any risks, not really taking any chance. So during this new moon where you're at the peak of your energy, where you're not only at the peak of your own energy, but spirit is like in alignment with you, you're due to get some sort of wish or something's coming to you that's a blessing. So, but what spirit's saying is that let chance play its creative role in your life. So it's creative. There's some sort of a disruption in your your what you're holding on to there's some kind of a disruption in your foundation but it's creative it's creatively destroying something and it is bringing forth a blessing so this is an energy where it might seem like something is coming in and it seems maybe that mars energy it's it's challenging you it's aggressive it's you know there it is but it's actually creatively reconstructing something better in your life. And so it might be a blessing in disguise for those of you that chose number two. There's something that is kind of breaking something apart, but the pieces when they come back together are a work of art. And so it's literally a blessing from the universe in disguise for those of you that chose number two. So I hope you guys enjoy those messages. You guys can always choose number one or three. 
All right, you guys, have you chose number three or Archangel Shamuel? Hearts, let's get your message. We're going to grab three cards from each deck. What is the new moon and Sagittarius energy bringing in for those that chose number three? Let's take a look. We have resilience, burn away the past. And so this is giving you an opportunity to leave something from the past or in the past behind to a source, something that you've been stuck in. So some sort of stuck energy that you've been attached to, where you've been, you felt like a, you're in a stalemate, confused, like you can't move forward. You're breaking away from this energy in this new moon. So this new moon is bringing forth an opportunity for you to burn away the past and to let something go that seems to be holding you back or stuck in energy. So that's freaking fantastic so you're being given something we have maximus how can you feed others when you when your own table is empty wow so you might be coming to this conclusion this um the, and this period of time, this new moon, where you're starting to realize that you're now depleting your own resources. You're now kind of holding yourself back from being fed. So how can you really even move forward and even feed new situations if you're depleted, perhaps waiting on something that just isn't coming or something that isn't happening and it's attached to the past so we can't really feed ourselves in the present or even the future if we're still attached and stuck to the past so there's a real opportunity for us to turn over a new leaf even going into the new year is what i'm seeing too okay so what's tarot that goes with this oh i love this the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is a card of self-care independence you can do it this is something about taking really good care of yourself so some of you guys maybe have not been taking care of yourself yourself. You guys have been holding on to the past too tightly. You've been living in the past only and not living in the present moment. And so you're giving this, you're being given this opportunity in this new moon to clear this energy, step away, step out of that energy and into the new. This is a portal. Do you see that? That woman is standing right in the front of that portal. So there is an opportunity to transition into a new energy that's actually better for you, where you can take care of yourself and feed yourself rather than starving yourself on energies maybe that no longer serve. All right, you guys, last message. Hex, be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. That's an interesting energy, okay? So yeah, I mean, of course, you know, when I first started this reading, what did I say? I said, you know, there's something I was reading on the internet about Mars, Mars energy. It's aggressive, it might even be attacking, it might be um, challenging energy. So maybe that are, there's some truth here, okay? Maybe you guys are going to... Um, be in the presence of somebody that is trying to do something but there is an enemy perhaps or some kind of energy that again doesn't serve you it doesn't serve your highest good that's being revealed to you during this period of time to where you can get rid of it to where you can let it go it doesn't feel right for you anymore it doesn't feel like it's it's not feeding your soul it's starving you at this point and so it's time to get rid of this energy so it's a real letting go and we have the King of Wands. It can be attached to a person. A King of Wands usually is the object of our desire, somebody that we feel very passionate towards, somebody that we feel very attracted to, okay? So we're definitely feeling like, you know, we're not sure if whether or not this person, are they for us or are they against us? Are they feeding me or are they starving me? Or am I allowing myself to be starved? So I do feel like you are taking your, your power back from whoever this person is. Um, but I also see the King King as an empowering energy for you, as in you jump into the King of Wands energy. You create your own destiny. You don't allow your past to basically dictate your present or your future. So you're literally stepping out of the past and going through this portal and you're going into more present or, you know, even like future energies where you're actually feeding your soul and you're taking better care of yourself and you're no longer feeling stuck and you're no longer feeling maybe hexed or like life sucks, life's against you it's not for you so there could be this energy where you're feeling like you know what everything's wrong in my life nothing has gone well everything has fallen apart and so you've kind of lost your mojo i'm getting that in this new moon in sagittarius you're literally taking your power back you're taking any ideas that that there's bad luck on you or that you've been hexed or that the universe hates you and it's against you. You're literally transmuting energy and you're coming out of two of swords. You're empowering yourself. You're burning away the past. You're going into your king of wands vibration. The king of wands vibration is somebody that gets shit done. They are a victor. They are successful. They are admirable. People look up to them. They're leaders. 
So I do see this King of Wands two ways. This could either be somebody that you're getting away from and you're empowering yourself, you're taking back your power, or you're jumping into the King of Wands energy. The thing is, it's a fiery time. The King of Wands is fire energy and that's Sagittarius' energy. So you're utilizing the sign of Sagittarius, even if you're not a Sagittarius or if you are, but you're utilizing the, the element of fire in order to you know, get things done and empower yourself during this new moon in Sagittarius. So I hope that you guys enjoyed those messages. And if this one didn't resonate with you guys, you can always choose number one or two. All right. Have a great day. Bye.